Don't forget to search for XL is Fun at Facebook and then add as friend. You also might try to do it at Twitter. Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 645. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 644 to 646. And this trick here, when it can compare two loans and calculate the interest, the total interest for both, and see, uh, um, compare the difference. Now, how to build amortization tables, I've done a few videos on that. There's that link. Here's the first amortization table right here. 200,000 at a rate of 5.75 for 25 years. So we calculated our amortization table. And amortization tables are great. They tell you how much you send in each month to the bank, the same amount if it's an amortized standard loan. Interest paid, the principal reduction. So we just need to add this column. Now I'm going to show you, this is a simple trick here for adding interest. But then we want to look at the uh, QM PMTI function to see how to do it without an amortization table. I'm going to click in this cell and Alt equals, and then I'm going to click in the interest uh, column and then Control Shift Down Arrow. And um, Shift Enter. Shift Enter puts the formula in the cell and jumps one up. I'm going to do the same over here. Alt equals is the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. And I have my other um, amortization table here, control shift down arrow and then shift enter to jump up. Now this loan is slightly different, same amount, but 4.12, wow that's a huge difference. This is an example of refinancing, right? 5.75 maybe a couple years ago you got that rate, uh, but right now rates are really low especially for 15, so we're switching from 25 down to 15. Wow, what a big difference. Okay, so there's the total interest, 68,000 compared to 177. Now let's go ahead and do it uh, without, if we didn't have an amortization table, we'd want to use some of our great uh, cumulative uh, functions. This one is returns cumulative interest paid. This other one's here uh, is for the principal. So I'm just going to double click that. The rate is going to be that one right there. Comma the NPER is going to be that one. That's the period rate. That's the total number of periods. Comma the present value. Our total loan amount. Our starting period. Well, it's going to be one for us since we want the whole amount the total interest, comma, and end period, 300, or what, when we come over here it'll be 180, and then finally comma, this argument usually when we do PMT is optional, but here you have to actually explicitly put it in. This is end of the period, so I'm going to put zero. Close parentheses, control enter. Now of course that is negative because they know it's coming out of your pocket. If you want to change this and put a negative in front of the uh, function. Sometimes you see it in front of present value, but that is not correct in accordance with finance. Now this formula is all relative cell references, so I can control C and paste over here and there we have it. Great function just to tell you the total interest or uh, over the life of a loan. We could see, um, I like this one better. If I can afford to fade in 15 years, man, that, that's a huge difference. That's over a $100,000 difference. All right, we'll see you next trick.